and using uh, for my theory, using the fat affinity loss, R1 of R2 equals to RPM1 of RPM2 cube, and fluorine 1 of fluorine 2 equals to uh, RPM1 over RPM2. And from that, I just combine these two forms together and uh, ended this formula R1 of power 2 equals to flow rate 1 over flow rate 2 Q. And such, and after that, uh, uh, I can find the respective power and the flow rate of at any points at time needed for my theory. Then, yeah, this is the data I've collected. And, yeah. This, the blue line, represents the data I've collected during my experiments. Uh, and, my, and the black line is the theory I've, uh, is why I ended up calculated. Uh, to, I, uh, based on this graph, I can tell that there is a, there is a deviation between the two lines. Uh, there, a few reasons could be that the design of my filter housing could be improved on. Uh, and, so, and another thing is that the age of the centrifugal fan might not be optimal, uh, which will be discussed later on. And this is the same uh, uh, flowing against RPM. And now for my axial fan, uh, I got this from the technical data sheet of the axial fan. Uh, I found the uh, uh, since uh, I'm going to use the HEPA filter as the test dummy of sorts, uh, I find points where it will be above 200 uh, pressure since the HEPA filter will have a pressure drop of 200 pascals. And such, I find the flow rate of the of, 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 of the respective points. And then, I, since it's meter per second, I convert it to cubic meter per hour. And same and the same thing goes for since this is a power graph, power and flow rate graph. I find the respective power of five points. The same thing I use the I, I use the kind of meter law flow rate one flow rate two to find. RPM1 over RPM2, and such this one I ended up with. And so, this, uh, when I'm comparing my theory, the, op the blue line represents the axial fan, and the orange, orange line represents the centrifugal fan. Uh, I can conclude that from this graph that the axial fan uses less of power when we, and higher RPM is needed when compared to the centrifugal fan, which only has the highest of 2000 RPM. But, uh, the axial fan has a low flow rate overall. Uh, this is flow rate, I guess, RPM. Uh, flow rate overall, uh, yeah, I can conclude that if you want to achieve flow rate through the HEPA filter, an axial fan would be uh, suitable, uh, which has lesser power usage. But if, not, if high flow rate is needed, a centrifugal fan is better because it, uh, it gives off a higher flow rate and lower RPM. And so uh, here is my here I'm gonna compare the configurations of a single fan and series and fan in uh, parallel. And first I use the same uh, then I'm gonna get the uh, five values of seven values of uh, the airflow and find the respective external pressure and such that and such uh, as due to uh, regarding an article, article from Rock Ron. Fans in series, uh, pre uh, the pressure increase, the flow rate, the pressure of the flow rate increases by n amount of times. So meaning that two fans in series increases the pressure two times. So I just double the pressure I get, got from the the graph, and the same goes for my my two axial fans in parallel. Let's see, regarding the same article, two fans in parallel, the flow rate increases by two times. So I just double the flow rate. Then uh, I'm going to plot this onto a graph, and this is what I got. You can see that the two uh, fans, a single, this is the blue line, which is a singular fan. The two fans in parallel is the orange line, and the two fans, in, so two, two fans in series is the orange line, and the two fans in parallel is the gray line. Uh, uh, I, uh, so basically what I conclude from this is that uh, and if, if the 
depending on the application of the fans. If a singular fan is not enough, we can add another fan to increase the in, to increase either the flow rate or the pressure that's required. For example, if a higher pressure drop due to the system of the HVAC system is uh, if there's a high pressure drop, we can add we can have two fans in series uh, so that we can achieve a higher pressure but with the same uh, uh, flow rate. But if if higher flow rate is needed, for example, for like bigger room or uh, just a place that requires uh, or for industrial uh, applications, we can add uh, two fans in parallel which quickly increases the which doubles the flow rate but reduces the but not normal reduce but uh, the pressure the highest pressure will be kept the same. So some considerations and uh the preferred for future is application of the fan. So uh, if a, a, a centrifugal fan, from what I gather, the yeah, centrifugal fan that, uh, might not be, depending on the scenario of the fan needed, for example, if it's a, just a HIPAA filter, an axial, an axial fan will, will just suffice, but if it's for, if high flow rate is required, maybe we can add a, set, a bigger axial fan or a centrifugal fan that, has, that will be able to provide a higher flow rate. And the, when comparing the two fans, uh, the size of the fan was, was not taken into consideration. For example, the axial fan was bigger than the centrifugal fan, and like uh, bigger as in the 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 blades, the blades and the impeller, the size of the blades and the impeller. So then there might be some be a bias or some some skewed data when comparing the two fans. And in the case of the comparison of configuration, two fans might be overkill as of course using two fans will double the power that is consumed. So maybe finding a one uh, finding a single fan with the right uh, specs, for example the high, with the right amount of flow rate and pressure will just be perfect. And lastly, like the design of my filter housing could be improved on. Uh, for example, uh, this is how I designed it. Uh, this the, the fan would be here, and the flow would just, the flow the airflow would just be like this. So that means the, uh, the flow of the the airflow of the flow of the uh, the receiving airflow of the filter would just be concentrated into a single spot. Whereas if I designed it into into this way, into, uh, with a shed with a shed by the side, the airflow would, would be allowed to flow from the sides and thus uh, having a much more spread out much more spread out uh, airflow so uh, yeah which, which might have affected my reading, reading my velocity and reading my air velocity and flow rate uh, lastly uh, I, lastly my design for the uh, actually, uh, thank you Okay, maybe I'll start with one question for you. Uh, so I noticed that the volumetric uh, flow rates and the pressures are all um, theoretical. Uh, they are not measured values because of they, they look pretty consistent, right? Between the one fan and two fans, uh, I saw the input about 350 intervals of uh, 50 uh, meters per second. Uh, so uh, my, my question is, uh, which of the measurements are actually measured and which are theoretical? Uh, no, the, the situation we have uh, two fans uh, comparison between uh, one, one and two fans. Uh, so you had uh, two columns. One was uh, flow rates and the other was pressure. Yeah. Uh, further down, like, we, we, yeah, we started presenting this. Uh, next slide. Next slide. Next slide. Yeah. Uh, next slide. Yeah. Next slide. So yeah. So you have pressure and you have volume. Flow rates. Uh, so these are not. Well, Measure them, is it? Just want uh, to clarify. This I got from the. Uh, these are the values I got from the technical data sheet. I use the uh, online uh, online tool where I'm able to plot points and then uh, so.
So basically, I plot like the maximum and the maximum of the y-axis and the x-axis. So I just plot, I just found the, the respective pressure of the, of the flow rate at, at these points at 50, 100, 150, 200, 150. Uh, basically, yeah, it's because basically I'm just comparing the the efficiency of the of the fan configuration, so like a single fan or fan series or fan pair. Yeah, I understand. Uh, thank, thanks for that, right? Uh, anyone else have any questions? We've got the HEPA side. Anyone else have any questions on the, the HEPA field readings? Can we have a look at the HEPA uh, fan readings which you took? The HEPA filter, uh, uh, expert, the experimental readings which you took. 